Hey everyone and welcome. So in this video we'll work on a problem which is called FUBAR. Those who have heard it, will it's great, will do a solution of it. Those who have not heard it, I'll give you a description of it. So to start with, I'll just create a directory which is called algorithms. Make dir, make directory. CD algorithms and in order to open it directly in VS code through command line I just need to do code and dot so this is going to open it in case if you don't have this code command you can open VS code and just pull the folder in it okay so initially this uh, the folder is going to be empty so we'll create a new file and we'll call it foobar.js all right, so let's uh, uh, let's do a little bit of play around here because how we are going to work on this. First of all, we'll open a terminal, and this terminal will be within the VS Code, and it should redirect to foobar or yeah, directly algorithms. Okay, so if I just write in console dot log foobar, this is how you'll run it. You need to save it first, and then do a node and foobar. So there you see, foobar. Perfect. So let's pull the question which we have here. It's this one. Oh, ignore. Okay, perfect. So problem is you have to print a number which uh, from 1 to 200 in a new line, but for every multiple of 5, print foo and for every multiple of 7 print bar and for every multiple of both 5 and 7 print foo bar so here what the question is that for if it's divisible by 5 just print in foo bar foo if it's uh, divisible by 7 just print bar so let's quickly go into the solution of it so we'll just write down the steps First thing we need to take care is if the, uh, it will be a for loop for sure, right? And it should start from zero and it will go till 200, right? And then what happens is that if it is divisible by five, will show foo. Third, if Seven show bar fourth if five and seven show foo bar. So here is the thing whenever an interviewer is going to ask you some question, maybe you can just do this kind of a pseudo code so he or she get an idea what you are trying to uh, trying to come up with a, or which kind of a solution you are trying to come up with, right? So this will be really beneficial for them to understand. Okay, so here what we'll do is that we'll create a function and this function will call it foobar and okay, just do a, this just to keep this error aside. Okay, anyway, this is still going on. I don't know why, but anyway, we'll just let it go. So function foobar and in this function, let me make it a little bigger. Okay. So for let i equals to zero, i less than 200. In this case, uh, we'll just uh, do a hard code 200 pl i plus plus. If i is divisible, and this is a modulo sign. So in case there's a reminder, this is going to let us know that if there's no reminder, it's gonna be zero. If there is a reminder, it's gonna be a non-zero number. Let's take an example here. Console log five modulo five. This should give us zero. So let's give it a try. Perfect, five modulo four. This should give us one. So there we go. And the same thing goes for 
10 modulo because 10 is divisible by 5, right? So let's see this. This should be 0 as well. Perfect. All right. So this is the reason for modulo. Okay. Let me uncomment this and we'll go further. So if uh, i modulo 5 is equal to uh, is true, this, this means that it's true, right? In JavaScript, this is the thing. In other languages, there could be. You need to specifically write it, but in JavaScript, you don't need to. Okay, so console log, and we, we need to type foo. Else if i modulo 7, if this is true, I don't need to write this, so let me remove it. Console log bar or else and here there are a few conditions I need to write two things foo and bar both because we even need to display a number so foo uh, not foo i modulo 5 and and i modulo 7 if this is true console log foo bar or else just to display that particular number so console log i perfect so if i run foo bar is going to give us a long list and here if else if okay so this is going to give us a long number foo bar perfect so but there's one problem here. This is not a final solution. I am going to discuss what exactly problem that is. Okay, so foobar, I need to run it. There we go. Okay, so every time is giving us foobar, foobar, foobar or something, right? Which is incorrect. So let's see where exactly we have a problem. I modulo five i modulo of i and oh this should be equals to zero my bad equals to zero equals to zero and this equals to zero because every time there will be a number and it's going to consider it as true so okay let's do it again Perfect, so we have what we are looking for here, starting with one. One is zero will be foo because there is uh, zero divide, modulo five is going to be zero. So, okay, one, two, three, five, and seven, perfect. And let's see three into seven, so it's 35. So 35 should be foo bar. But we, do we just have foo here and if you can uh, let me know what exactly is the problem here, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm going to tell you it right now. So this condition which we have here, it's been met at this place. So it's going to display foo instead of our expected foo bar. So all I need to do here is that take this condition, put it on the top here, and I'll have the same condition here as if, else if, foo modulo not foo but i modulo 5 console log foo perfect so let's run it again and we'll check number 35 okay so where is number 35 it's right here right so we see foo bar so now this is totally correct so this was just a refresher algorithm and let me know if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.